Hello and welcome to this new and special video which is a little bit different today because first I'm speaking from my desk instead of my studio and also today I am going to contrast and compare the hands of two arc enemies that everybody's talking about right now and one of them is Vladimir Putin and the other one is Volodymyr Zelensky and I have been working from photos on the internet so they are not as clear as uh, when I, I work from prints but I was still able to identify at least five very major differences between those two very famous presidents. Um, starting with which hand I am going to look at because they are both right-handed and, and it's their dominant hand, I am going to only look at the right hand, dominant hand, which is more our GPS hand. Um, out of, just out of curiosity, I notice that Putin always wears his watch on his right wrist and Zelensky always wears his wedding ring on his right middle finger. So this is something that you can notice on the different uh, pictures that I'm going to show you. So now let's go to the first feature that I want to talk about and this feature is the length of the fingers. So when we compare the length we look at the length from the top of the middle finger to the beginning of the middle finger and we compare it to the width of the hand. So every time I'm showing you two hands on the left side it's always going to be Putin and on the right side it's always going to be Zelensky. So when we compare this length to this width the length would probably arrive more or less here. So the fingers are very, very short. In the case of Zelensky, if we compare this length to this width, it would arrive about here. So in both cases, they have short fingers, but not as short in the case of Zelensky. So the finger actually the finger compared to the width of the hand show the balance between thinking and action. So when you have slightly shorter fingers, such as uh, such is the case in Zelinsky's hands, um, the person is very spontaneous. Uh, he responds uh, very promptly to tasks, challenges, problems. For instance, he would be very quick to organize when his country is invaded. So this is if the fingers are a little bit shorter. But in the case of Putin, the fingers are really, really short. So the person is also going to act quickly, but sometimes it can be a little bit too fast. So the person will be uh, maybe more impulsive, more intolerant. And the big problem is that because of these short fingers, he doesn't think of the long-term consequences of his actions, such as invading a country, without any provocation. So now we are going to see the second item that I are going to talk about and in this case it is the width of the palm. So you have probably noticed like the fingers being really short then we are going to look at the width of the palm. So in comparison uh, with the length of the fingers and 
this is going to allow us to identify the Mars energy because Mars, here we have Mars negative, which is more the physical energy, and Mars positive, which is more the um, mental energy. And you can see here that the Mars is very wide. It, it's as if like it's inflated in both sides. And here, even though we have the finger that is not really long, the, the Mars is more balanced. So it, you don't have anything inflated here and it's not actually being squished inside. So this is a balanced Mars. So what is Mars? Mars is how we use our energy. So when it is balanced compared with the rest of the hand, it means that we use our energy productively. So it, it gives us a lot of strength. We are able to protect. And uh, Mars is our inner Superman. So we are able to make good decisions. So whether it's to protect ourselves, to protect our family, to protect our friends or to protect our nations. But when we have a really big, big Mars, like it's really too big, especially in comparison with the very short fingers, we become that this energy is used too much. So we become more aggressive, uh, arrogant, self-centered, and we tend to look at our own needs and ambitions regardless of others. Do you think of somebody? Yes, this is it. A Mars is really, this Mars is really way too big. So now we are going to look at the third uh, feature that I want to share with you. And this is going to be Mercury. So Mercury is this finger, the baby finger, and it's all about communications. So we're going to look at the size of Mercury in both cases, compared with just to see what is so-called normal, I would say more ideal, uh, usually the, the length of Mercury is supposed to uh, arrive at about halfway through the tip of, this is the sun salon, this is the, 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 the sun finger and this is a sun uh, tip phalange, not challenge. And what we see in both cases is that uh, the mercury finger is actually a little bit higher than the, uh, the, the tip phalange of the sun. So in both cases, communication, this little finger means communication. So when you have a long mercury, it is very easy to communicate and you are very persuasive. So in the case of um, Zelensky, uh, as an actor and comedian, uh, it usually gives you a sense of good sense of humor. It is, it, it would come very easily this communication skills for this type of person. And then when he became president, it's very easy again to use this um, uh, energy of Mercury in order to communicate the best way possible, whether it's by speaking, body language, or even social media. But there is one aspect that is very important. Mercury is not only the finger, but it is also the mouth. And what does it mean? Uh, here you can see, you see, if I look at all the, um, the, the delimitation between the fingers and the palm, you see it's making an arch, a very uh, balance arch. So this finger is a little bit lower, this finger is a little bit lower, but there is harmony in the arch. And when we look at the, the fleshy part, you see 
that it's it's relatively smooth even though I don't have um, the prints you can see that it is actually a strong uh, amount of mercury now if you look on this side on the side of Putin you can see that these three fingers are almost exactly on the same level and then there is a big drop here it's as if like it's going boop boom boop and there is a big drop and the amount of mercury is much lower than the other three mounts on top of it you see it's, it almost looks like there is a, an indentation here like it said it's completely flattened so if it was on a print probably it wouldn't print very well it would show that the amount of mercury is actually small deflated so I told you that both of these people have a very strong finger of mercury. In the case of Zelensky, the mount is good. So when the mount is good, it means the mount is supporting the communication. So the ideas, the creativity is going to be able to support this desire to communicate. However, in the case of Putin, if we compare the length, the length, I, I took the time, I look at all the, um, the pictures I could find, and this finger is almost exactly the same size as the sun finger. It's not supposed to, it's only supposed to arrive here, but it reaches here, so it's huge. Compared to the rest of the finger, the, the mercury finger is huge. But as we saw, the mount itself is not good enough. So huge finger, small mount. So the person is going to talk, 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 talk. He wants to prove himself, but he doesn't walk his talk. It's a lot of talk, no action, because it's not supported by a good mount. So the word that comes to my mind is, <gasps> my mind, is propaganda. Now this would be a person who would do a lot of what is called this bad propaganda. He doesn't work his talk. So now let's go to the next feature that I want to share with you and it is the headline. Now the headline is a line in the middle of the hand and here this is this line and as you can see here, the line, both actually are long lines, both are very, when I say long, because it reaches the area under the baby finger. So in both cases, these two people are very smart. There's no problem. They, they, they can keep going, they can do a lot of things, they're not afraid in their, in their little world, so they're not going to be stopped by anything, either one of them. But in the case of Zelensky, um, you see that the, the, the line is curved, which is good. When you are curved, it means that you are, um, you are able to uh, understand what the other person is saying. And um, at the same time, it is stopping at the right place. When I say the right place, it's again in, uh, ideal, in an ideal world. This is Mars negative, and this is the Moon. So Mars negative, as I mentioned before, this is our uh, mental energy, physical energy is here, mental energy is here. So when the line is stopping there, it's going to take the energy, a nice combination of both the Mars positive energy and the Moon energy. So Mars positive energy is perseverance, fortitude, the idea to keep going. And the moon energy, moon energy, a lot of the time moon represents the mother or anything that your, your, your mother is supposed to teach you. So sweetness, harmony, and the ability to include everybody. So when you have a line, a headline that stops right 
between these two mounts is taking the best of both worlds. However, when the line is basically sinking into a very big moon, this is really big. So the moon is also the place where we get our creativity and our imagination. So the moon is not bad, but a big moon like that and the, the fact that the headline is really sinking into it, the imagination turns into dreams and it turns into hallucination and it turns into the wish to create your own reality, such as, oh, I wish the Soviet Union was still there. Why don't I recreate it? And of course, all by itself, it wouldn't be that, but we combine it with the short fingers, we combine it with a really big moon, we combine it with uh, the, the idea of like a really long um, Mercury, and we get somebody who is just living in his own world. And now let's look at the next uh, feature and it will be the last one I'm going to share with you today and it is the origin of the lifeline. So this is the lifeline, this is the origin, so you see the lifeline here and we can see very different origin. In the case of Putin, you can see that the origin is really, really high in the hand. It's actually on the Mount of Jupiter, which is very rare. In the case of Zelensky, you see there is a big gap. So what happens is the lifeline is actually at the right place, but means that the headline is starting very high. And I'm going to show you uh, on this, you can actually see it even better big gap between the two lines here and here we can see the line the lifeline starting all the way up from Jupiter. So let's start with Zelensky. So Zelensky has what we uh, we call an independent headline. So it's not most of the time the line is much shorter is much closer to the uh, lifeline uh, instead of being really separated from the headline. When there is a big separation like that, there is a strong desire to be free and nothing can stop you. So whether it is to become a president of a country when you started being an actor or whether it is fighting a war which was supposed to leave you defeated after three days and then three months later you're still fighting it. So nothing can stop you because your head can make the impossible possible. Now when we look at this origin here, very high, and as I mentioned, it's rare. I, I, I had actually to check my note when I saw that scene. What is this? And uh, when I learned it, it, it never registered, but now it's going to register. I know I'm going to remember that for the rest of my life. The metaphor related to a line that is starting, a, a lifeline, which represents the body. The lifeline is the way we live, and the way we sustain our body. And uh, in, when it starts really high like that, the metaphor is it's as if you are dead and when you are dead you are going to the afterlife but you are going to bring your body with you. So your body is rotting, decaying, decomposing but you are so attached to your body that you are going to bring it with you. So this is the metaphor of this line starting so high. So what does it mean? It means a very extreme attachment to all material things. So it can be your body, 
but it can also be your money, it can be big houses, it can be power, it can be glory, you name it. There is a strong attachment to the material world. So this was the last uh, feature I wanted to share with you. And now you're probably wondering, okay, who is going to win? And if you know me, if you have seen my videos before, you know that I never make predictions because we can always make our own destiny. We start with features, we start with Allah, we start with parents, with the um, uh, country and all that, and then we work with it. And how we work with it shows whatever result we are going to get. So no, I cannot tell you who is going to win, but I can tell you one thing. I have a favorite, and I'm sure you know who it is. Bye-bye now.